Yip Yaviskula, knowing that a two-goal win would put the Austrians ahead of the Finns atop Group I on head-to-head -head goal difference. Red Bull came out very strongly in this game in the first period. The early chance. Puck in the Yip zone. Far side shot, Zdenek Kutlak beat Thomas Tarkey near post. Sharp angle shot Tarkey won't be happy with. Assists to Beach and Palestrang. Red Bull led 1-0. The other way, puck in front, save, rebound, saved again by Luka Grachnar. First chance to Boy, second to Calteva. But Grachnar came up big. After one, it was still 1-0. Second period, Red Bull with a chance. Thomas Raffle with a shot. Beautiful shot turned aside by Tarkey. But later, Red Bull on the power play. And the point shot coming in from Matthias Trotnik. Troy Milam and Thomas Raffle, the two assists. Trotnik with a power play goal. From the high slot, beat Tarkey cleanly. After two, the score was 2-0. Yip tried to come back the other way early in the third on the power play. Peelman with a puck in front and Grachnar stoning him. The nice pass in the low slot, but Grachnar came up big. And Red Bull pinching in deep. The chance developing in front. That was a save off of Brett Sterling by Tarkey off the outside of the net as well. And then Red Bull made it 3-0. The puck comes in front. Beautiful passing and Sterling does score. Raffle found Sterling, and Sterling swept in from a sharp angle. 3-0 for Red Bull, and Salzburg still pressuring. Raffle shot, save, rebound to Meckler, and David Meckler scores. Tarkey shrugs in disbelief as Red Bull with the late goal. The four-goal margin enough to put Salzburg atop group I. Ahead of both HV71 Jernschirping and Yip Yaviskula on goal difference. Your final score in Salzburg, Red Bull Salzburg 4, Yip Yaviskula nothing.